Hey, you know your normal views on YouTube videos and your click rate, the interaction click through rate. So maybe it's better to paste this nice video inside a webinar, a closed thing. And all the visitors, you get an email address and you have them in time because this video will continue running. You know, with YouTube videos, you can pause and then yeah, maybe then this person is away. And also the call to actions and YouTube videos are not so timed. So you can go back or forward and yeah, let's do a evergreen webinar. That's really helping this person and add on, add an appointment. Your Topic with an appointment form. So that's the URL, that's the title. You can change the language, but let's stay for all in English. So, what I suggest that you just take this registration code add it to a new page or to an existing page one page per short code id so if you have webinar 79 on a page number 80 will not work so it's 79 webinar registration we publish it but Gutenberg, but it's working as an other page builder. It's working on your home page. You can view the page. This is your webinar registration. Okay. And here we can write my name correct. And add this. Now we have to reload because we want to add this page as a normal registration page and also as a fallback page. So if somebody's accessing the webinar page, but it's not valid or it's over, then they go back to this registration page and it's not using the default registration page, which is looking like this. That's the default one, but here you have to fill out a lot and customize a lot via settings. And it's maybe much better to have this as a start point and just add your video and title, subtitle, and that's it. You can decide if you want to hide header and footer or not. Okay, so I would say that's, that's for the registration. One person want to collect uh, the users so there's three forms, three forms, three, three possibilities. You can add here an HTML code, a simple one, and then connect the fields and everything will be transferred. Or you can go to the settings and do webhooks. That's a link you paste in here from the target, and then it will fill the target of the URLs. Or you can just simply say, get registration notice, add your email address here. And then you will be notified on registration with the details and you can put them you can also lead them into a crm system that works with emails so all is possible okay then let's go to the webinar room we need an mp4 or webm that's um, then connected to the time i have some examples you just use uh, a video that you would come publish on YouTube, but you can just put it here. So we have, this is a teaser, but it's too short for a webinar. It's six minutes and counting up. So I use this because it's like showing you the time when the call to action is coming. So we have this and you do 
install to free to state of file uploads so you can do four gigabytes in video don't make it too big but it should be having a good quality and your server can do it and especially on evergreen it's not not the big thing at the time here some text if you like and yeah that's all good then we have a video we have a sidebar with a GIF section and our Q&A section. Q&A section just sent a mail. And the GIF section you can manipulate here. And give over here. But you can also hide both. And when you just hide, click hide. And you can create new tabs that's permanent. I like more the call to actions here. So let's let's do it. Let's hide not this keep, but let's hide giveaway. Because then you can time the giveaway. You can also um yeah, time the giveaway in the call to action. So we say okay, let's do it from five seconds to minutes and yeah maybe you know how many people here we have 187 views how many people really subscribed here so maybe five or six i don't know so maybe you grab this code the short code and paste it in here the centering not helping so much at the moment, but we will center it anyway. And yeah, there's an option to install advanced iframe plugin. Now it's installed, so yeah, we don't have this message here, but you can just install it and activate it, nothing more. And then we say load an iframe because this is a that have styles and functions that not working when loading delayed. So it's like not loading with the page load because the webinar page is loaded and then we load the call to action. So it's good if, if we load it in iframe and then it's perfectly doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, about here, it's the overlay, overlay over the video. And that's it. What we do is do 600 width, then it's centered. If we do some width, it's centered. And that's it and save webinar preview webinar and here's your new webinar the q a section and a call to action at five seconds which is working wonderful and yeah i will book something that's somehow a bit down but you see here i have already oh that's interesting i can't change the mail ah, that's good and you see here i can say okay to be yes and i can already book this appointment and that's it also, if I click finish, it's reloading somehow, but it's reloading inside the webinar. So it's all good. So that's my offer. And sure, you can do free consultation, free ebook, whatever, referral to friends or whatever you, you like, you can do. And yeah, don't get annoyed by this bar it's only just for you because then you can jump forward and backward and say okay see okay then jump to the right time and say okay now it's hidden so if you have more call to actions then it's easy to jump so sure it's not um there when your attendee is coming also reloading will reload and do everything from the beginning Attendees will have everything continual. 
that's why we need web uh, webm or mp4 webm is um, a bit smaller and have all the advantages of mp4 too and it's it's really good compatible so yeah so that's it and you can submit a question my question um what you can do is add talk to it's also in the knowledge base support dot webinaridition.com talk to t a t a w dot t o and yeah so the questions they go here in the live console one question manage questions and here you can answer and then we have here already the name filled out your question and the answer and also we have a system that only you answer this well, otherwise will be different and i will just send it to the mail that's registered for the webinar and then you see no open questions answered questions this is good it's auto reloading auto updating and also you can see here the registrations and yeah as we directly jumped into the preview we don't have it but that's it yeah i like this very very much there's a get order code that's an iframe that's triggered when you have your call to action done purchased so then it also will count the purchases and also it's exporting the csv which is cool which shows this information and it's very very good okay that's under 15 minutes for an evergreen webinar Webinar recognition is free with all the features. And yeah, just go inside your WordPress, add new, and type in webinar and webinar ignition is not so far. So you can here install or update. And you see all our nice 45, 43 five star reviews. And yes, we will improve. We will improve. We will make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And yeah, make it more WordPress. There will be a new version, V5, and it will be completely in WordPress style. Mm, but it's not having so much features at the moment so we are still doing the basics so with the version 3 you're good see you and um, yeah i hope you do also a review after some success on your evergreen webinars ciao two years